My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever in the campaign playthrough. In this episode, we're still in chapter one, and this is mission number two, Coffee and Colonialism. The mission description is here, the island of Java, a tropical jewel in the midst of the Indian Ocean, conscientiously administered by meticulous Dutch bureaucracy. The year is 1870 and the colony is undergoing a transformation. Recently, individuals have been allowed to lease farmland and manage plantations. The fertile land offers ideal conditions for exporting a multitude of colonial goods, off on the way to an exotic experience. As always, in this episode we're going to attempt to get all three of the bonus tasks that are available for this mission, and they are Digested Driver, Mysterious Monuments, and New Lines of Business. So let's go ahead and get started. Prosperous plantations, transport is a much sought after service on this scarcely civilised island. Eating draft animals such as oxen is punishable by law. That's why the colonial administration has commissioned you to build a railroad so that the plantation business prospers. The delicious coffee is supposed to be transported from the fertile hinterlands to the facility near town for processing. Ok so let's continue. Activating the height layer, so the first task we have to do is quite simply activate the contour layer which we've done and ticked off that task fairly easily. Now we need to connect the coffee plantation over here in Samarang to the export factory here in Surabaya. So we want to build a cargo station in this highlighted area next to the factory and then link a track up to the existing track that has been pre-laid for us. So we shall go ahead and do that. So it makes sense just to use a terminus station since it's not going to go any further than this coffee export centre just here. So we'll put him down and then we'll do as instructed and connect a rail line to the existing tracks that have been pre-laid and that takes ticks off that task. A depot is needed, indeed it is, it will be needed if we ever want to run any trains on this line. So let's go ahead and satisfy this objective and run in a line. Let's just check that it's making a nice smooth junction, which indeed it is, so we'll build that. Okay, so the next task is to purchase a complete train, including locomotive and freight cars. So we need a train with four freight cars which can transport coffee fruit. So to do that we'll go into the depot. We have two trains, the D13, which has a top speed of 25 miles an hour, 6, 6 kilowatts power, 20 kilonewtons tractive effort. We also have the Borsig which is faster, higher power and higher tractive effort. So we shall go with the Borsig and to transport the coffee we need the boxcar as that transports the coffee as suggested here in the cargo types. That's not what I wanted to press, I do, do, I do apologise for that. Let's amend this and add on four boxcars as instructed. There we go. We'll colour him red because that's what colour the line is going to be. So now the coffee fruit can be brought from the plantations on its way to further processing so we have to connect a line or make a line and I'll just rename this just so I know in the line manager what each station is responsible for this is something I do in all my with all my stations including the truck stations it just makes it a lot easier to manage further down the line so there we go that's nice and clear so now we can set up the required line from Semarang Coffee Plantation to Sudabaya Coffee Processing. I'd like him to only leave when he has a full load of the coffee fruits and in Sudabaya he is doing nothing else except unloading those coffee fruits that he would be transporting. Let's give him an appropriate name. Okay, now we need to assign our train to this line so we'll do that now Let's unpause the game so he leaves the depot and commences his run we'll just rename the train so we know which train we are looking at in our line manager uh, we'll just call it coffee fruit 
Samurai. No, Samarang. To Surabaya, that's right. That just makes it a lot easier and more organised when you're looking at your vehicle manager list. Because you know exactly what train it is you're looking at. I mean, the line does give it away as well. But I always like to give the trains a, a name that is similar to the line. I don't know why, it's just something I've got in the habit of doing, playing this game. And it's a habit I'll likely keep up. Okay, so for the time being, there isn't little else we can do. He's got to go down to Semarang, pick up his cargo, and then drop it off here. And that will be this task completed. And then we can proceed with the next task. Which I believe is to haul the coffee beans that pro get processed here from the factory into the town of Semarang itself. Just to verify that, I will accelerate the time to four times speed, just so there's less waiting around. And then when he gets close again, I'll drop it back down to one time speed and we can carry on as normal. In the meantime, while we are waiting for the train, let's just have a quick look around the island. We have a rather beautiful looking temple just here, the uh, on the slopes of this volcano hidden away and secluded in the dense jungle looks absolutely stunning up there must admit here comes our train now he's on his way back if we just slow it down so we can get a good look at him as he comes past in fact why don't we go into a cabin view and then take a look like this that is a wonderful shot with the temple there in the background as the train rolls on past on his way to the coffee processing factory okay let's leave him alone go back to four times acceleration now we've had a bit of eye candy and wait for him to arrive to start the next task right so there he is now there we go that's the task completed colonial counting houses what a superb railway. It provides local plantation leaseholders of truly valuable services. Still fresh from the fields, a fruit quickly reaches a factory. From there, the colony's delightful coffee must be brought to the warehouses and offices in the port for export. That shouldn't be left up to the local labourers. No way. Too easy going, too inefficient, too unreliable. Specially built stations are called for so that the first rate coffee makes it into town undamaged. If need be, stations that can be guarded against the plundering hordes. So build a truck stop in the highlighted area and one in town. So let's get a truck station here. Set it to 30 meters. Again, just as a matter of course, rather than as, as an actual requirement for this task. And we also need one in this highlighted area here, which is going to remove at least one building. We can limit it to just one, that'll be ideal. There we go. Ready to go. Nothing stands in the way of speedy transportation to the local seaport anymore. Send the freight cars of coffee on their way. So we need to establish a route between the two new stops and allocate four vehicles to the route. So let's uh, first of all just make sure these have an appropriate name. So this is Severaya Coffee Plant. And it is Severaya uh, Commercial, I think it said. Commercial drop off. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a line for this. It carries coffee, beans, which is a brown colour, so we'll colour in brown. And then just give the wagons the correct instructions. And also give it a proper name coffee bean haulage bean bran that's not right coffee bean haulage bean i can't even say the word now never mind spell it and that is for the town of surabaya perfect so we need a depot not a tram depot that's not gonna do as much good and we want was it four vehicles so if we go to cargo all three are capable of transporting coffee beans 
Uh, there's no difference between them two apart from the aesthetic design. So I'm going to go with the covered one and I'll pick up four as instructed. Give them the correct colour scheme, put them on the line and away they go. I missed what that said. The factory now finds itself in a loadable position by sending processed coffee into town. To experience considerable growth, its products have to reach a clientele with money to spend. Okay, so we just need to wait until the horses and carts have delivered the coffee beans into the town. So here come the horses and carts. There's nothing waiting for them yet. That's because he's run out of coffee fruit here, so we need to wait for a full load to come on our train line. Oh! Digested driver. Oh no! Lucas, the capable engineer on your locomotive, seems to have vanished from the face of the earth. Or anywhere else for that matter. Time to find a stand-in. Right away. Would one of the natives be able to meet this difficult challenge? Hmm. So we build a practice track. Several locals show an interest in learning the decidedly noble profession as locomotive engineer. A practice route for training purposes is needed. Meanwhile, certain signs are feeding horrible rumours about the indigenous tribe's diet. So let's build a test track in the highlighted area, which is around the base of this volcano. So that's two small stations and a depot and a length of test track. So let's go ahead and get two small stations. And we will go small, just 80 meters to save money. And if we put them like that in opposing directions, the tracks then will connect up nice and easily, like so. He also says we need a depot, so we'll go ahead and place a depot down as well. Connect the line from the depot into the test track line, like so. Having them drive a loco. The correct way to drive a vehicle must be practiced first so that potential passengers are not scared off right away. In the meantime, some hard to digest news reaches you. Your skilled worker is said to have fallen victim to a bloodthirsty tribe of cannibals. Oh dear. It's very unfortunate. So we want to set up a line so the natives can practice driving the locomotives and we'll just call this test line. It's not going to do anything for us other than ensure that we can complete this side little mission, this bonus task. So we'll get a D13, it's not going to be hauling anything and it is cheaper to run so it makes sense to go for the cheaper option here. There we go. Colour him the same colour as the line and assign him. And that will start the counter on this side quest. He has to do 1500 metres, he's done 40. So it's just a matter of time until that is ticked off and marked as complete hopefully and that would be our first bonus task completed meanwhile over here our road vehicles are now starting to receive a load of coffee beans he has two or five as stipulated in the line manager he's not actually going to leave the station until he has a full load so he might be waiting around for a while although there are nine coffee fruits stored at the export factory so there is enough there to provide this chap with a full load so hopefully he won't be waiting around for too much longer before he sets out on his journey back over at the test track uh, we're a quarter and change away through the task there's our little test engine in fact if we just have a little may as well have a little ride on him while we wait for the other tasks to tick on by there's our apparent native locomotive engineer who's undergoing training. Let's just sit on his shoulder-ish. Quite an atmospheric map, this one. You do have that Indonesian vibe about it, so I must say credit to the developers for that. They did a sterling job here, especially with the uh, secluded temples on the sides of the volcanoes in the dense jungle. There's our little depot there. Okay, let's exit him now. So he only has uh, 400 meters to go to complete the task. 
Meanwhile, our first road vehicle has set off on his way. We can even enjoy a little ride on our transport wagon. If we just get like that. Is that a bear? It is. And that rock there reminds me of the pile of Triceratops poop that they encounter on Jurassic Park 1. Having two sons who are absolutely mad about dinosaurs, Jurassic Park 1, in fact all of the Jurassic Park movies and the new ones, Jurassic World movies, are movies that I've seen a hell of a lot of, as I'm sure you can imagine. Okay, something's completed. The digestive driver. Good news, the locomotive engineer has returned safe and sound. Whilst you pictured him in the stomachs of the savages, he was having the time of his life in the virgin forest. Naturally, you can't tolerate misconduct like that and regretfully have to fire the good man. Sounds like he took his clothes off and had a little frolic through the jungle. I suppose we all have to get our kicks somehow. Clearly he wanted to go and uh, go native. I've just noticed the a little lake on the top of this volcano that's that's absolutely gorgeous look at that I'll tell you what I bet you get an amazing view from up here if we just make our way to the lip of the volcano have a look around oh there goes our train look off he goes absolutely breathtaking it truly is I can't be the only player who plays this and just spends many hours just looking around the map like this anyway getting distracted colossal capacities thanks to your reliable deliveries the factory is working far above par although it would certainly be capable of processing much more virtually colossal capacities of coffee you should weigh the idea of increasing the transport volume because coffee from the colony is a committed commodity in great demand so building passing loops one train isn't enough to adequately supply the factory with coffee fruit a passing siding is needed so that a second train can run the line. Okay, so we need to build a passing loop. Clearly that's been started here, as indicated by the two markers. So let's get our track tool and just complete that as instructed. The train should wait for each other on the passing siding. This requires placing signals. Yes, it does. So we want one-way signals. One on either marker. And there's our passing loop. If the plant is to be used to its fullest capacity, another complete train is needed. Acquire a second train with four freight cars, which can also transport the coffee fruit. Okay. Quickest way to do that is to simply clone him. And we'll give him... Oh, business boost. Wherever coffee production thrives, businesses and prosperity flourish too. Thanks to the railroad, the port town of Sudabaya has become a lively trading centre for countless goods and services. All kinds of people from all corners of the island want to do profitable business here. That's why the colonial administration has commissioned you with setting up a passenger line from Samarang to Surabaya. Time to build a line which will soon link the key trading hubs in eastern Java. So connect the two towns with a passenger line. Do that in just a second. First I want to rename this train so he has a similar name to his twin. Surabaya got my capital letters that just a catalogue of it it's still going wrong Surabaya Jesus what's going wrong okay we want a passenger line let's go ahead and do that passenger station just have a small one the size is quite irrelevant on this it's just to tick a task off not too concerned about city growth as you would be in free game so if we pop them like that I think that's good enough for me give them correct names as their passenger stations they should really just have the town name and nothing else so we shall get rid of exchange and annex go ahead and get the track tool out and connect the two together okay so if we head this way try and avoid too many elevation changes as they slow trains down especially in the early eras when the trains aren't the most powerful anyway there we go 
lastly like that that cutting looks a bit horrendous but uh but we have no choice really the railroad has been completed curiosity one side time will tell if passenger transportation really is a venture that's worthwhile transport at least 25 people no problem to achieve that we're going to need a train and a line and to achieve that we're going to need a depot there's the depot connected in like so and we have a second bonus task mysterious monuments a formidable enterprise like yours calls for a suitably first-rate branch office after all you're not just anybody damn right building a headquarters build a prestigious residence that is unrivaled on the whole island okay so we'll return to that in a few moments i just want to get this passenger line set up first of all between Surabaya and Semarang and we'll call that intercity passenger line there's only two cities so we don't need to worry about adding the names in we want the Borsig and I will have how does that do yes four passenger wagons or carriages I suppose they're correctly termed colour him green which is the same colour as the line we've just created assign him and away he goes okay so build a headquarters so account screen headquarters and then build I am going to say we put it in the larger city which is Sudabaya and I am also going to say we put it on this nice little junction well I say nice it's just a junction I don't think junctions can be nice per se a truly attractive estate, but a veritable plague is spoiling all the fun. Snakes have occupied the building. Rumour has it that a wise old woman knows how you can rid yourself of the snakes in the walls. She's supposed to be in Surabaya, so find the wise elder. So just click on the question mark here. The old woman says she doesn't know a thing, but you should try your luck with her cousin in Semarang, who has a knack for the art of snake charming. Okay, so now we click this question mark. The snake charmer declared that you've probably angered this mighty snake goddess with your projects. The snake priestess of Mount Medapai is the only one who can remedy the situation. Okay, I know from experience you have three choices, four choices. It is this one. The priestess has spoken. The only way she is willing to call off her children is if you make a sacrifice to the great snake goddess. Coffee, the priestess prophesied, would be the sure thing to appease the goddess. So make an offering of coffee beans to the snake goddess. Okay, so basically what he's asking us to do is drop off some coffee at this temple up here. So to achieve that, we need to first of all have an access road up to the temple from down below. So we'll go ahead and draw him in. It is quite steep, but it's only going to be a one-off route not a permanent money maker so efficiency isn't really a major factor here so we if we put a truck unload stop outside of the temple of the snake goddess go ahead and set up a new line from the coffee plant to the drop-off point load him with coffee only fully loaded as always and you can wait an unlimited amount of time as well same color and this is coffee bean delivery snake temple simple and descriptive it shows that uh, oh, it'll show me exactly what line or what that line is doing so get a vehicle for the line assign him there he is i think we only need one load to be delivered doesn't say anything about a certain amount so as soon as he's done one delivery this little side quest is also completed while we wait for that I'm just gonna take some of the aggressive nature of this earthworks out because it looked a little bit too unnatural for my liking that looks somewhat better at least it looks less dramatic Likewise, I may do the same with this cutting over here because that's just a little bit too excessive like that. 
and here. All it's doing really is taking some of the aggressive nature of it all out, making it look a little bit more, I wouldn't say natural is a correct term because the train line is clearly not natural, but it's, uh, but it's just looking just better really. No two ways about it, it just looks better. Okay, you have zero passengers on board at the moment. How many are waiting? One. I have an idea to speed this little mission along, and that is to set up a bus route around the two towns so people from a little further afield are able to get to the train station, which should increase the amount, the amount of passengers we could transport. Okay, so we want a new line here. And if you just do a loop around Semarang, just like that. And this is bus service Semarang. Clearly going to need a vehicle depot to get some buses on this line. Not going to need many. I will say three is going to be more than adequate. We shall also do something similar over here. And this will ensure all the people in Sadabaya, Sadabaya are able to use the train station. Which as we said, like in Semarang, is going to hopefully, theoretically, increase the amount of passengers waiting to use a train. Which is going to get this mission ticked off that little bit quicker. This is bus service Sadabaya. Sort of batter, that's not quite right, Andrew. Close enough. Well, no, it's not. It's not close enough at all. Right. Buses. Go for four in this town as it is somewhat larger. There we go. We should start seeing passengers populate these bus stops. Yes, we have one here. And one gentleman or lady, one person, one pop, one sim character, avatar, NPC, whatever you want to call them. One of them waiting. Mr. Alex Taylor. Let's have a look at you, sir. Oh, you can't go in close when, at the, uh, when they're at the bus stops. However, if we pick on Hannah Hall, we can go in close. Good day, Ms. Hall. I dare say you need to catch a bit of sun living in Indonesia that shouldn't be a problem clearly must be a, a new arrival from the home world the home world the old world the Netherlands so that's one person transported we still haven't done the coffee beans yet let's just go check what's happening up here tell you what two should be more than enough there's no stipulation as to how many cough how much coffee we need to transport so let's we'll go ahead and transport two and hopefully that will be enough as you can see we've now got six people at the station whereas before we only had one or perhaps two we only have one here however the train has just departed and he did have three have our buses hit these lines yet no they haven't but they have just entered into sort of bias so it shouldn't take long Forgot about our little train over here, just happily doing his thing, rocking from station to station, not a care in the world. I'd say he has quite a nice view, but uh, but with all the jungle around him, I suppose he doesn't get to see much of it, unfortunately. Let's have a look. What can you see, sir? Well, you can see that... Uh, precariously placed rock on the top of the volcano so that's one thing I suppose you could uh, you could watch that maybe catch it falling off one day uh, don't actually try and catch it you know that's not going to do you any good well this bus service is proving a bit more popular than I thought it was going to in the end it is largely irrelevant it's just to get people to the train station so they can be counted towards this goal here. 
Speaking of counting towards goals, how is our coffee delivery on the way to the temple doing? Let's have a look. Very slow going, but this is going up the side of an actual volcano, so what do you expect? Sir, you look extremely comfortable there. Oh, just broken into your wagon, I'm sorry. Got his feet up. You could even have a newspaper in there. Getting sidetracked by the uh, eye candy again. There's some high trees up there on that uh, on that sugarloaf style mountain. I don't know if that would happen in nature. I am not a what's the correct term herbologist. No, I was going to say naturist, but that's what our train driver was. I do not take off my clothes and frolic around outside. At least I haven't done so for a while. Ha ha ha. Have you arrived at the drop off point yet, my friend? You're not too far away. I think, you know, we've spent enough time pissed about and looking at all the eye candy, so I should accelerate to four times speed just to get a move on. Once you start talking about running naked through the streets, it's probably time to press on. There we go. A godsend. What a godsend. Your stylish residence is pleasantly snake free again. Hip, hip, hooray. Meanwhile, our train is arriving with seven passengers. And you have 26 to go back. So there is more than enough here to complete this part of the mission. So I think, once again, it is worthwhile just going to four times acceleration while he makes his way over to Semarang and then we can see what our next task is going to be. What a nice beach. Look at all that is. That is quite lovely. Quite lovely. Looks like a storm's brewing out brewing out at sea however. Wouldn't fancy being caught in that. Speaking of storms at sea in a previous life, I was a marine engineer. Basically means I worked in the engine room on ships and was responsible for maintenance of the engines and I'll just pause it for a second and the other various bits of machinery. Obviously in that job, got to travel the world a lot. Saw lots of different places, including Indonesia. One of the things that stuck out, sticks out in my mind and I don't know why I'd never thought that this would be a thing before but until I saw it I didn't think it would be a thing but at one point we were sailing from from Vancouver in Canada over to Japan across the Pacific Ocean naturally now despite it being I think it was around about April time so it wasn't winter by any stretch and we were in the northern hemisphere so the seasons weren't flipped and all of a sudden we we're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean miles from anywhere and there was one of the biggest blizzard stroke snowstorms I have ever witnessed. And for some reason, I didn't think that would happen at sea. But it did. And it was quite bizarre. And I remember thinking to myself at the time, Yeah, 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 travel the Pacific Ocean, they said. It'll be lovely and warm, they said. And it was absolutely freezing, which is a godsend when you're a marine engineer because the engine room gets very, very hot. I'm talking 40 plus degrees Celsius on a regular basis, so to go outside into a blizzard was quite welcoming. Anyway, that's enough about that. It seems, okay, I need to go back and read this because I was rambling. Mighty Merapai, uh oh, it's rambling in the, ram rambling, that was me. It's rumbling in the island's interior. The mighty volcano Merapai threatens to erupt. A phenomenon, phenomenon, nom, 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 nom. Like this wasn't reckoned with while planning the route. The natives claim that someone has probably angered one of their gods. Whatever the case, if the precious coffee fruit is to be transported by rail in the future too, then it's imperative that something be done. Send the trains to the depot and remove the stop at the coffee plantation from the route. So that's that one. So we need to send you two little buggers back to the depot. 
So you can go there because you're pointing that way. You, however, cannot until you've cleared this signal. So just speed up because I'm impatient. Now can you return to the depot? You certainly can. And we want to remove the station here. Remove station and tracks. Oh, need to be this bit first. Relocating the line. To enable coffee production to continue making progress in the future, the route ought to be relocated to an area where it can be assumed that the expected eruptions will leave it intact. Okay, so basically it's rebuild the line, but avoid this exclusion zone right here. So let's get a cargo terminus station for the plantation. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Ha ha ha, just get on with it will you? Come on, get on. And if we skirt our track now around this mountain here like so and then connect it in to the existing line something like that does that look okay yes it does and then we also need to remove the old line that is in the danger zone let's not sing the kenny loggins hit if this is not a top gun Danger has been averted and transport can be resumed. What's more, the volcano is showing signs of calming down again. Despite that, maybe relocating the route was still a wise move. Okay, dokey. So, if we go to our coffee fruit freight, the stations have been reassigned automatically, which is good. So, now all we need to do is send the two trains back on their way. I missed that. So this Pause it and have a look. New lines of business. The fertile island has a lot more to offer than coffee. The widow of a friendly grower, may the poor ever rest in peace, has been planting sugar cane lately. Make the lady happy by providing her with your services. Er, uh, what? I hope you mean transportation. The sugar must be delivered into town. From there it is shipped and then served when continental Europeans get together for coffee deliver from the sugar plantation there we are to Surabaya doesn't say how much we need to transport so what's going to be the best way to do this I believe what I'm going to do is something I don't do that often when I'm playing in free mode and that is to have a dual purpose station so we'll extend another, or we'll lay another track, not extend. Have a cargo platform there as well. So now that station serves as both passenger and cargo. And then we're going to need a line for the cargo. In fact, we may just have a dual track now. So we're also going to need a diamond slip, whip, lip, 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 slip, switch. Get your words out, Andrew, come on. So we'll take him around here like so and then run that into there like so do the same thing over here that we did in Surabaya and have a dual purpose station no don't need that anymore and then get the track into this new platform like that that all works marvelously before I do anything else, get a couple of signals in just so the trains use the right side of the track. Maybe one in the middle just for blocking purposes. And maybe one more, why not? Let's go nuts with it. We also want to have a track that leaves a depot. Not like that, we don't. Hellfire. Can I doesn't look the best but it'll do the job we need it to do and in fact get rid of that one okay so we can now transport cargo from here but we need to get the sugar from the plantation to the station there we go again rhyming truck unload stop outside of the station we have a road depot already so let's just quickly put the line in Still got it paused, I, I do realise that. Sugar delivery. 
Sen Marang. I should go for two, why not? Colour them green onto that line. Then we need a line as well from our new dual purpose station. So click on the cargo icon like that. Uh, you don't have to be fully loaded actually because there is no specification for how much sugar to deliver. Just deliver some. So there we go. We need a train. So get the Borsig and just two gone. In fact, just one will be enough really. As I said, it doesn't specify how much sugar to take. So we'll take the least amount possible to make it as quick as we can. There we go. Now, let me check the cargo layer. I can't. Okay. Do you provide coverage to... Yes, you do. All these industries here require sugar. And as you can see, he covers at least some, which is good enough for me. So I can unpause it now and things should start producing correctly let us see yes we have some coming out for shipment the road vehicles are on their way but none for transportation as of yet which is concerning what i'm going to do briefly is stop these trains because once this hits 30 then that is the final task completed and the mission will end and there is a chance we will miss the chance to get the sugar delivery sorted out. Okay, that should now start filling up, I believe. If we just speed it up quickly to make sure he does. Did you pick anything up? No. I assume you're not going to either then. Okay, is there a problem here? You're connected to there. So you're coming in at terminal 1, so that's okay. Is the problem here? No. Do I need road access per chance? Let's check. What's the smallest cargo building we can get? That one will do. We have road, ac road access for the passenger terminal. Maybe the freight terminal needs its own dedicated access. Let's see. So now that has access, if we do the same over here, get the smallest cargo building we can squeeze in. There you go, that's provided the access perfectly. Now we have sugar being produced. There we go. I don't even think I needed to do what I did. Because there is no way they got from the plantation to here in that time with a full load. He must have picked those five up before I made the changes to the access points. Oh well, who knows. So you're going to now start... No, that's, there we go. You are heading back. So I think it is safe to send our two other coffee trains or well our, our two coffee trains and the only ones we have back underway because it'll take one full load each which gives us time for this train to pick up the sugar and then head back this away with the sugar to deliver it to Sodabaya to fulfill that task so off he goes like a bloody roller coaster at four times acceleration. Wee! Okay, stop it. Blinking, you'll miss it, guys. Ooh, bit of track there. Should have got rid of that. Oh, never mind. Should be coming to the station now. Yes, there it is. Nearly derail on there, well, that's how it felt like at this speed. Perfect bonus task completed. How sweet, the sugar rattles toward town quickly by train. I wonder if it would have said that if I had have delivered it by road instead. Hmm. Maybe I'll try that one day. 
don't know why. Doesn't make much difference, but uh, anyway. So that's the first delivery of coffee fruit to the factory. Well, since the restart. Have we ever been profitable? Have we bollocks? Ah well. They tend to give you more than enough money to complete the tasks. So you don't have to worry so much about your finances. It's only when you get to free game, free game, free mode, that you need to keep an eye on your money and make sure your lines are profitable. As it stands, it doesn't matter. We still have over 40 million available to us. We're not going to need all of that, not even by a long shot, because I believe we are almost done. Slow it down. Wait for that tick up. Tick, 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 please. Let's just park ourselves uh, on the roof of this building and wait. So I do believe that this is our last task. So on the assumption that I am correct, I am going to start wrapping it up now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little episode and are enjoying the campaign playthrough of Transport Fever 2. If indeed you are, please feel free to leave a like, drop a comment down below, and even subscribe to our community that is slowly taking shape. This is dragging on for longer than I thought it was going to be. I look like a bit of a tit. I've uh, shot my lip. Uh, watch what you say. I've peaked too soon. That's better. So, if you did enjoy it, as I said, there will be a third, fourth, and so forth episode soon. Go through the entire campaign. I was right, we finished. Brilliant. So, all that remains for me to say to you guys is for those of you who have subscribed, thank you. For those of you who haven't subscribed but are just watching the videos and enjoying them, thank you as well. To those of you who pick up your litter, thank you. Uh, this is becoming an Oscar acceptance speech. Wrap it up. Okay guys, as always, take care of yourselves. Stata for now.